What's up? You're watching the Dr. Phone channel, and today I'm going to tell you about three methods to transfer all of your data from your old iPhone to a new one. And hey, my name is Francisco from the Dr. Phone channel, and today I'd like to talk to you about transferring data from one iPhone to another. If you're going to be switching to a new iPhone, or if you just have a bunch of files to transfer over, like very specific ones, like for example, uh, very massive like 4K videos on your old phone, if you just want to move them over to your new device, then these are going to be particularly helpful. But before anything, I just make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also make sure to turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any tutorials. I'm going to explain how each method works and then I'm going to walk you through the process of going through each one. For method number one, we're going to use our own Dr. Phone software, which is going to be a very simple way of transferring all of your data with just a few clicks, really. And the second method is going to be through iCloud, which will require you to have an internet connection. And for method number three, we will be using iTunes to make that transfer. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into method number one. And okay then, so let us go ahead and jump right into method number one, which is going to utilize our Dr. Phone software. And I do keep in mind that we're always going to keep a link to the Dr. Phone software down in the description so that you can download it and follow along if you would like, or just leave it for later. But for now, this is how you would transfer data from one iPhone to another, and this would be one of the easiest methods. So let us go ahead and get started. Do make sure that your iPhone is actually plugged to your computer as this is going to be a direct transfer. And make sure that you give your phone proper permissions as well. And the first thing that we have to do now is just going to be to click on phone transfer right off the bat since what we're going to be doing today transferring data between two devices and it's going to require us to have uh, both devices plugged in at the same time and once you're in here all that you have to do is just make sure that you plug in both of your iPhones all that we have to do is just make sure that we have the proper sources here so in this case we're going to have our older iPhone and then our newer iPhone which we're going to transfer all of our data onto so in this case since we just want to transfer very minor things we're just going to go ahead and pick Francisco's iPhone, which is going to be the older one. And then we're going to transfer some of our data from this over to the new iPhone, which in this case is just going to be titled iPhone. And then it's going to recognize that everything is good to go from both ends. And then we choose what aspects in particular we want to transfer over. We are capable of transferring quite a few things here. However, we're just going to go with uh, the bookmarks and two wallpapers, essentially, as I don't want to transfer too many things over. However, if you want to transfer absolutely everything over, you absolutely could. And now with that said, we're going to go ahead and click on transfer now. And OK, so somewhere along the middle, you might actually come across this message, which is just going to ask you to turn off. Find my iPhone on your new iPhone. And so please go ahead and do that before you can actually proceed. And once you've done so, you can go ahead and click on OK, and then you should be able to move forward from there. And okay, so now that the process is finally complete, we can see that all of these have actually been transferred over. And if you look back at your iPhone, you will see that, uh, that it is indeed going to restart. However, when you look back at it, all of this data should be installed right onto your iPhone. And that essentially marks the end for method number one. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to method number two. Method number two is not going to require a computer at all, and instead, it can all be done on your phone directly. But firstly, you have to make sure that you back up your iPhone to iCloud first, and to do that, all that you have to do is go into your settings, iCloud on top, then iCloud, then iCloud backup, and then go ahead and click on, on backup now. You can also flick on the switch if you want it to back up automatically every now and then. And after that's done, all you have to do is just go on your new iPhone and just go through the new setup process as you normally would when you're first restarting it or, or if you just bought a new one or something like that. And then when you reach the app and data screen, all that you have to do is just make sure that you tap on restore from iCloud backup. And then go ahead and log in. And once that process is all done, after waiting for just a few minutes, everything should be right back onto your iPhone. And that is pretty much going to be everything for method number two. So we're gonna go ahead and move over to method number three. And all right then, so let us get started with method number three. Now for this method, we're going to be using iTunes for the remainder of this. 
In order to begin, all that we have to do is actually go right over here to where our iPhone has been connected and then we click on the icon and then we can see a bunch of data based off of our iPhone here, like things like the phone number and things of the like. You're going to see the serial number and things like that. But the thing that we want to focus on uh, mostly here is going to be us uh, just backing up our device before we plug in a different one and then we transfer all of that data back onto the new one. So in this case, what we want to do is actually go Go over to backups here, click on, on this computer to make sure that everything can be saved locally. And this is how we're going to be saving our data and backing it up before we transfer it over to our new iPhone. And then go ahead and click on backup. And then we just wait for the process to be done. And it shouldn't take very long since now we're working on a PC. So now that the backup is finally done, all that we have to do is actually plug in our new iPhone. And then once we do, you're going to see a window very similar to this one again. And then from here, all that you have to do is just go back to backups and click on this computer once more, and then click on restore backup. And this is going to show you a list of backups. And essentially, it's going to tell you that the last time that this got backed up was actually just a few minutes ago when we made our last backup. And this is going to be from Francisco's iPhone. And then from here, like once you've chosen this one, all that you have to do is go ahead and click on, on restore. And then once you do, uh, do keep in mind that everything on your current iPhone is going to get erased if you do it this way, and it's going to be overwritten with the backed up data. So only do this if your iPhone is already emptied out, or if you just wanted to already reset everything that's on there. So do keep that into consideration as it is going to override absolutely everything. However, once you're ready, and if you've decided that this is the method for you, all that you have to do is click on restore and just wait for it to finish. And then from there, you are essentially done. And this is going to be the end to the iTunes method in general, which is going to be method number three. And those have been three methods of properly transferring your data from an old iPhone to a new one. And again, like do keep in mind that, uh, that for method number two and the iCloud method, uh, you're going to need a pretty strong internet connection. So I strongly suggest that you use Wi-Fi when you're going through that process. And also, if you don't want to lose your current phone data, then I would avoid using the iTunes method because it is going to overwrite your current data with this backup. I would say that the easiest method and the most time efficient and the safest one would be to use our Dr. Phone software as it is just going to be a very simple way of going about it. And it's going to be available to you down in the description through our links below. And that's pretty much everything for today. Now, do you have your own method of transferring your iPhone data that we might not know about? Or do you just have any questions on the methods that we mentioned in this video today? Make sure to leave all of your thoughts down below in the comment section and we'll make sure to comment back at you. And with that said, I will be seeing you on the next one. Have a good one and bye.